Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So up to now we have seen the calculator service code and we also we have run the test cases for this one. How to inject the service and all those things we have seen. Now let's move on to the more realistic way. Okay, in the previous videos we have seen that about the types of unit tests available in Angular. First one is an isolated unit test and another one is shallow unit test and another one is a deep integration test. So these two shallow and deep integration tests comes under the category of integration tests only. Whereas the isolated unit tests are nothing but testing the single piece of unit of code where they, where the service or class or anything does not have any dependencies. So that is the main criteria. Now in this video, we will try to learn what are the types of unit tests and we'll go step by step. So where we, we can do this type of test size, where, where we can do this isolated or the shallow test. So where we can do this one all, let's try to implement this one. So first what we'll try to do is, let's try to implement how to test a pipe. So pipe is a single piece of code, it's an isolated one, it does not depend on anything. So let's try to do it, how to do the, how to test the pipe. So here I am creating a pipe. Here I have opened the terminal. In this terminal now I am creating a pipe. So this one, so this is the command I am trying to do, ng generate pipe. And in the pipe I am creating a separate folder pipes strength and the strength pipe so here i am trying to create a pipe with the name strength so here if you give a pass the name value it will tell you that whether the value is strength or whether it will tell you the strength of that value so let's try to do it let's make it keep it as a simple we'll write the code here also for this one so here it will give creating two files again strength pipe and also the spec file also it has been created and the pipe has been updated in the app.module if you go to the here in this one so this is the strength pipe.ts file. So this is the file. And here we are having the pipe have a, has a simple, it's a simple class. So it implements the pipe transform. So in which this pipe transfer has a method, transform method to be implemented. And this takes the values and other arguments parameters and the return value is unknown. So we can change it. Now here we are having another one spec.file. So in this spec.file it's nothing. So it creates an instance. So here it has created a strength pipe instantiation just like the calculator. And it is checking that whether the instance is being created or not. That's it. So it's a simple test that Angular CLI has created for us. So let's try to write some logic in the strength. So here what I am trying to do is, so it's a simple pipe. So I am create value. It will get a type of number. Okay. And it will return a value string. So now I will try to write a simple thing. If value is less than 10. Okay. If the value is less than 10. So it need to return value plus, so it need to tell that it is weak. Okay, that's it. So it's a simple thing. Now else if value is greater than or equal to 10 and value is less than 20. Okay, so if, we, if the value is between 10 and 20, then what I need to do, so I can copy this one and I will try to return somewhat strong. Okay, so at the last, so whatever the thing it will be, so if anything is there means, so I will try to do strongest, something like that, I will try to do it. So this is a simple pipe, so this pipe whenever you pass a number, the value that should be a number, it will take the number and it will tell you that if the value is less than 10 means, it will tell you that 10 is weak. If the value is between the 10 and 20 means, then it will tell you that it is strong. If the value is greater than 20 means, then it will tell you it is the strongest. So let's try to write the test for these two scenarios. So let's go here. I am trying to remove these all the thing. Okay. So first is first water. So or otherwise if you want, you can keep this one also. So it creates an instance. So it is checking that whether the instance has been created or not. So it, whether the strength pipe is able to create an instance or not, it's trying to check. So it's, it's fine. It's problem. Not, not a problem. So let's try to check this test case also. So if I try to open here, so here you will be able to see, sorry, Reload. Let's let's reload this one. So description with uh, no children will be removed in the future version. Okay, fine. So here you'll be able to see strength pipe. Okay. So here we are having describe. It creates an instance. So everything is there. So let's try to see it here. Yeah. So I maybe I didn't save it. I think. So here creates an instance. So every every uh, test is success. Now let's try to write the test case of us. So what I need to do. So whenever we pass a number value 5 to this one, 5 to this pipe, 5, it need to tell that 5 is weak like that. So let's try to check the test. So here I am, it, 
should display okay weak if five value is passed okay so like this so now okay, it should display weak if five value is passed okay so now let's try to have this constant strength pipe okay have created instance now i need to check that expect pipe dot transform so we have a method transform and in this transform i need to i will be passing five value and i need to check that two equal so what is the value it will be passed so here it will be passed five and in the bracket it will tell you that weak so this is the value i need to get it passed for example let's say that i didn't get the space between these two things so now here if i try to see here expected five space week but it is equal to five week so you are trying to check with the five week but we are getting the output as five space week so whatever the, we have thought it's working so here if i try to keep the space here so now the test has been passed it should display week five it should display week if five value is passed so perfect now if you try to see this if case is passed why because value is less than 10 so it went to the if case if you want to have the proper good test test code coverage and all those things so you can write the else case for this one also so it's very simple what i can do is so you can copy this it thing it should display strong if 10 is passed right if 10 is passed it should display strong so strength 5 and here i am passing 10 and here i can check it with the 10 if you want you can also use this uh, in a separate variable this 10 value and you can use it in the both the places and if you try to see the output 10 strong weak okay we haven't changed here so we need to check it the strong so our test is our test cases are working very fine so here if you try to see it, it should display strong if 10 value is passed so now the last else case is so this one so now if you pass 20 or something like that it, it should throw it should give you strongest so let's try to copy this one and here it should pass strongest if 20 is passed that's it right so now strength 5 and 20 and here also we can write the 20 and here i can write strongest so if you try to check the output so this one also we got it passed so now we have written this this is a simple isolated unit test so however we have written the calculator it's a dependency right in the logger service but here the strength pipe is not dependent on anything so it, this one we have created an instance and we have written all the cases what are the cases that could be possible here for the strength pipe we have written all the pace all the all the cases here so now and also we have provided a good test coverage also so this is a simple isolated unit test for writing writing in the angular in the in the angular application so it is not dependent on anything it is isolated the strength pipe is isolated to any class so like this we need to write the isolated unit test for a pipe I hope you understood about this one how to write the unit test for a pipe so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if and also if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you